made in Jordan in Morocco, specifically Marrakesh. Started operation Casbah. This is uh, an operation to uh, field over as much of the northern, northwest of Morocco as I possibly can. We've got a nice little plan, but in order to execute it, I will need a lot of keys for Marrakesh. So let's have a look at Marrakesh. Now in a place that was described in the tour books as dirty, decrepit, not worth going to, do absolutely not go here, stinks and so on. But there is a portal over there. Operation Casper has brought me up into an unusual site in Africa, snow and skiing. There's a portal up here in the snowing region. Actually it's at the bottom, but I decided to take this opportunity to go skiing in Africa. Fortunately the ski lift is, is out, so we have to walk up. So I'm not going to butcher any names. You'll butcher any names, so just say butcher. Marrakesh, you can almost manage that. I'm somewhere south of Marrakesh, my trusted valet has informed me, Alex is over here. Uh, he's not that good of a valet because he's not carrying my skis up this uh, ski slope we found in Africa. I just had to uh, get across the next bridge to see what I would find and this is what I found. Way over there. It's the beginning of the Saharan Desert and I am on top of a ski slope in Morocco. Where did Ingress take you today, huh? <laughs> now we're rolling. Okay, now we're making a good, a quick getaway on the Here third take. away of, 10 kilometers ago. Yeah. <laughs> third, third take. Third take for this video. Um, standing outside of the wall of a water park, uh, deploying some couple of quick heat sinks, uh, hacking through the wall before we had to make a getaway, before the locals started asking too many questions of what we were doing. But anyway, um, we back to Marrakesh. So I spent about a week now in uh, Marrakesh gathering keys. I got about 235 keys just to stay safe because I won't be able to backtrack here, so I need to make sure I have as many backup plans or backup plans as I can possibly get. I need to a few more backup plans. I'm gonna spend another hour or two going through the old city to Mossadi and so on. I'm in a hurry. I have to get to Palace Taia before they close. Okay, well the palace is closed, so that kind of put a span in the work, but fortunately I found a little path that went through like the maziest of maze. And this spot right here, I can reach the palace from here, so we're all good. I don't know how it got dark. I've been out here for too long, running around these strange market streets of Mar Marrakesh. It's like a maze. Everywhere you turn, there's another person on a motorbike trying to kill you. That's one. There's a few there. Right. All right, we have left Marrakesh. It hasn't been a successful morning. Uh, the hotel I wanted to uh, use as a base, uh, we didn't get entrance. We weren't fancy enough. And then the minaret where, that I was going to use as a backup base had basically no data. So Alex was patient enough to stand around waiting for me 25 minutes, waving the phone in the air. Uh, eventually got it fully deployed and a few keys, but not all that I wanted. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully that's enough of data problems.
good. Short on here, somewhere, somewhere high up. All right, tomorrow, hopefully I'm gonna go to the most eastern part of my journey and throw links from there. Here we are, Tafadut, the anchor point for the attack at, of Marrakesh, starting on the east side, day one. All preparations have been done. The resistance attacked us the, last night, get, taking away one of my fields. But this is where we fight back. Jordan here, happy to report that the southeast of Marrakesh, going from Marrakesh through the Atlas Mountains down towards the Zata and, uh, and eastwards, has been enlightened. Day one of Operation Casper has been a success. Day two of my Operation Caspar. Um, I'm gonna go back to the Caspar in Oasisate, throw I think 16 or 15 links from there, then drive as fast as I can to the coast uh, and then complete all the links from over there. It'll take eight hours. Let's hope the resistance won't get in the way. I just got 9,350,000 mind units for the enlightenment. That more than doubled what I had before. I think it tripled it. I'm happy. I would say that Operation Caspar Day 2 was a success. Is Day 2 the last day? We'll see. Say there may be more. There's more. There's a third phase to Operation Caspar. This time, the West. Um, we just left uh, Tafa Tagasut and we're heading up to Essesuria. Uh, we have a visitor in Marrakesh. It's Friday morning, and the first of the resistance tourists have arrived, and he's taking down my fields. Hopefully, she won't notice the one, the two little fields uh, links going up to the large garden. Because that is the linchpin for the West. Half an hour to checkpoint. I got ten more portals to get to, and they're far apart. Have to go.
Operation Caspar is now complete. Uh, the eastern, western side of Marrakesh is fully enlightened. I made 11 layers from Marrakesh to Essaouira down to Tagasut and three big layers up to Casablanca thanks to an agent I met there. Thank you, Metha. Um, I gained 9.3 enlightened mines today together with the eastern and the southern side and did in phase one and two I now have fully enlightened 20 million mines. I arrived in Morocco with only 2.4 million and I thought that was pretty good for a one-year agent. Now I have 10 times that. I dedicate this operation, Operation Casper, to all agents who decide that even though they're playing on their own, out on the road, they still want to do something great. With enlightened love from my heart to all of you, thank you for watching this video and with that, Agent Shodan out.